Well guys, this will probably be my last update on watermelon, at least for this year. Uh, since I lost the fruit, this thing has been spreading out like crazy. Um, I've been getting some quite a few flowers on it, but I haven't seen any signs of any new fruit forming. And seeing how it is late August, um, I'm gonna say it's probably fair to assume that I'm not gonna be eating any watermelon, which is unfortunate. Still, I would call this experiment a success, and we are definitely gonna grow a watermelon again next year. Um, learn a few lessons. It seemed to do really well in this bucket, so I, I may do that again. Um, except now I know not to let the fruit lay on the soil. Um, so I'll either have to put some mulch down or something but yeah it's it's starting to spread like crazy and taking up a lot of room and if you're not going to be producing any fruit then you don't get to take up all this space little man that's for sure hogging up the sunshine and the water i guess you're not hogging up water but um yeah so i'm probably going to cut this way back um compost it but this, it had a nice run. It was fun. I like watching my little watermelon grow. Um, it did way better than what I expected. And I've had people tell me that they planted watermelon and, and they didn't even get anything. So I guess I did really good. I just screwed up by letting it sit on soil. Oh well, you live and you learn. That's what this garden was all about this year. This is very much an experimental garden. As I think I've, I'm sure I've said in other videos, I've done gardening of flowers but I've never done a full vegetable garden before so so most much of this has been new to me um, so we learned farewell watermelon you did a good job you did a good job